Okay, hello. Welcome back to we another one of my else. videos. And he wanted the manuscript because he thought it held some magical power. But I had no manuscript to give him. I had to get back to Barry and figure yeah. out my next move. Got interrupted. Welcome back to another episode of Alan Wake Remastered. Uh, watch the other video if you haven't yet. Um, but you saw that we had an epic climax, no homo, up on Lover's Retreat. Again, no homo. Uh, with a lot of the undead guys. Thankfully, I've got full magnum ammo now, which is nice. Um, but yeah, the kidnapper. He came to save me, but then he wants the manuscript. He knows that I've been writing these pages, and he wants them, otherwise Alice is going to die. Which is funny, because he just ran past the page. On so more than one occasion, Alice had tried to explain to me how it felt to be afraid of the dark. To her, darkness wasn't simply the absence of light, but something more tangible than that. It was something you could touch and feel. Worse than that, it was something with a mind of its own, something malicious and malign. For her, things changed when they were wrapped in darkness. They turned into something else, something foreign, and nothing was safe or innocent anymore. I'd never really understood what she meant until now. Till now. So, yeah, just, it's all kicking off on this game, basically. It's very fun. Mm, hurry up. So I'm glad I've got you along for the journey. It feels less lonely. And this game has scared me a couple of times. There's there's always the kind of sense of dread. But yeah, it has actually scared me a couple of times. I see you. It's through here or nothing? Have I just done a shortcut? Okay. But I found a page. <laughs> Can I not? Well. I thought I could interact with that. Oh, there it is. Oh. Okay, I feel like I just need to be unorthodox with my route. Is that mine? I don't know. There's a bit of paper. Early up. Sarah didn't care about the legal threats Wake's agent had made. She let Wake go without argument. Because Sarah's there was the something about him she couldn't quite put her so. finger on. Something that reminded her of her father. She didn't think Wake would hurt his wife. Then she thought about the way he waded into Hartman. That hair trigger rage flaring up without warning. Hmm. Didn't. Yeah, didn't cover myself in glory with that. Is that more ammo? Yes. Oh, I'm full. Okie dokie. Let's carry on. This guy is setting bear traps for me, which I think is very childish. I've still got flares, which is making me think I'm going to have to use them at some point. But it's not a flare gun, so it doesn't destroy them. It just keeps them at bay. Any more bear trap? <laughs> Ow! Not blessed with batteries, my torch. So I need to stop. Maybe stop using the supercharger and just let the torch sit on them for a while. So that works, just not as quick. Ominous sounds.
Jesus Christ. Calm the frick down, guys. There's going to be more, isn't there? Hey, up. Oh, I thought that was going to be loot. I would have really appreciated that. It's over here, anything? Right, this is leading to something now. Ooh! Ooh! Little ninja? Okay, let's just go up there. There's someone up here as well. Oh no, it's the big guy. Getting a bit much now. Getting a bit much. Well, could have used this before. A bit late now. Hey, coffee. Nothing in here. Apart from the page. Shotgun. Oh, hunting rifle. Interesting. First time we've had that. Manuscript. Paging Mr. Wake. The night had been one desperate situation after another. I was exhausted, and my body felt as though it had been chewed up and spat out. Mm -hmm. The flashlight was heavy in my hand, and each pull of the trigger sent a painful shock up my arm. But I was finally out <laughs> of the woods, and things were looking up. That's when I heard the chainsaw. That's when... No story ever ends well with That's When I Hid the Chainsaw. That's When I Heard the Chainsaw. I mean, the sad thing is I'm not even out of the woods yet. I can hear breathing. Nothing flat. Shit me. Ow. No, no, no. Get this started now. I feel like it's too late though when I've when I've done that, but how are you meant to do it with them all on you? Makes no sense. Hunting rifle ammo, right, I need to use this hunting rifle. Eight bullets. Whoa. I need that cough mask. Oh! One shot! Let's save that. Rifle for the big guys. There's going to be more enemies, surely. Let's run on and keep it to the coast. Ow. 
the batteries. What is this place? Reach the top of the mill. Could I have some revolver? Rounds! Christ. Oh, okay. Oh god, it's confined. Didn't know I could do that. There we go. Just keep an eye out on the floor. There's some. Can I climb up there? No. Wait, which way am I meant to go? Why can't I climb? Yeah. There we go. There you go. That was really stupid. That was really stupid. Now my screen's going to be like this forever, is it? Hmm. Okay, my health does regenerate slowly. God, no! Right. I'm going to cut this out. Oh, the rest of this out. There it is. I'm good at this game. Manuscript. When Barry saw the darkness attack the visitor center, it made him a believer. The men Al said he'd shot, they hadn't been just locals on crank. Mm -hmm. Somehow the world had changed. Like the channel had been switched without warning. You think you're watching a sitcom, and you're really watching a horror show. When the birds started attacking Ooh, the cabin, Barry. Barry wasn't surprised, just terrified. We need to get back to Barry. Uh, okay. Let's get back. Ooh. Okay, some players. And a coffee cup. Anything else? No. Mmm, yep. I think this is the way to progress. So there was one place I haven't checked yet. Which I need to do. Out here. Woo! Oh, manuscript. The logging site was a mess. The modular office had been pushed off the cliff. Deputy Thornton climbed up from the wreckage, excited, breathing hard from the exertion. Nobody there. It's weird. Don't you think that's weird? Bored, Mulligan let out a mighty snort. Hell, it's always weird, Thornton. Just a question of sorting out what kind of weird it is this time around. Hmm. Okay, that doesn't really help me. So, onward. I can do this jump again. Yes! Okay. Gotta be near the top. Mm -hmm. Oh, ladder. Yep. Already forgotten. Some more goop here. What does that mean? 
Why do these boxes look like loot boxes? Right, hello, is anyone going to jump out at me? Right, we made it. Checkpoint me. Immediately. That sounds like it's about to go. The darkness wears her face. I just saw something flash in that building. What does that mean? Amount of batteries. Amount of batteries, guys. Shit. Oh, shit. I'm going to have to use this hunting rifle. I'm out of batteries. Manuscript. Shadow stirred and the wind picked up as I ran through the forest. I felt the dark presence turning its gaze toward me. Then the moonlight was blotted out by dark shadows that raced violently across the ground, moving too swiftly to be natural. Darkness gathered between the trees and melted again to reveal the Taken. No natural path had brought them here. Oh, God. Right, I really need to be careful now, because I have no batteries. Don't know if I mentioned it. Hmm. I need batteries in here. Good. Well, I've got flares, but I'm not really seeing a use for them. Okay, I'm very sorry. My, uh, I, f I finished episode two. And I went back to stop the recording after I'd wrapped everything up, and my memory was full uh, on my SSD. So it re didn't record the last 15 minutes or so. Uh, I'm really sorry, I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. I'll show you the, the end cutscene, um, but basically, you didn't miss much gameplay. I, I killed some more people, uh, I managed to get back up to the top, and I managed to get in a car, and then I drove all the way back to my cabin where uh, my friend was inside and there were birds attacking the house, so I had to kind of just shine the torch to defeat the birds, and then I got in. So I'm really sorry. Uh, I'm annoyed, because obviously I don't want that to happen either. So uh, what I'll do, I will show you the end cutscene now, which we will watch, um, or I'll just show it to you, because I've already watched it. <sighs> Annoyingly, you won't have the recap then for episode three. So my next video is going to be episode three, and I think it's just going to plonk me straight in. But hopefully with this cutscene, you, you will, it'll make sense. So let's just watch it quickly. I sent Barry to the town to ask around about a man fitting the kidnapper's description. He'd go through the archives of the local paper. Perhaps he could learn something. Anything about the island and the cabin that had disappeared. The man wanted a manuscript. I had to try to write him one to get Alice back. For me, the supernatural had always been nothing but a metaphor for the human psyche, a tool to use in writing fiction. Now, it was happening for real, and I couldn't put a single word on paper. Barry Wheeler speaking. This is Rose. Rose? I found Mr. Wake's pages. Oh, you sweet, brilliant girl. Can you and Mr. Wake come get them? I live in the trailer park outside the town. We'll be there in less than an hour. I know. See you soon. Have a great day. Hope you come back soon. Welcome, Welcome to, to the Old Deer Diner. Good girl. So yeah, creepy ass ending, right? So essentially, my next episode, I'm going to be at the entrance to this trailer park with my friend and some guy who maybe runs the, the place and he's going to take us to her uh, camper van. So yeah, like I said, sorry about that. I'll make sure it doesn't happen again.
but that'll be at the beginning of the next episode. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. I promise you, you didn't miss much. Bit of a spooky moment in the, uh, the there's there's some toilets up by where the car was that I got into. That was pretty weird, but apart from that, you didn't miss much. So that's episode two, and we'll be starting back in episode three at the trailer park where that woman has lured us there. So thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in the next video.